Okay, so today is the day that we have all been waiting for. Today, I'm gonna be seeing John Bellion live in concert, but that's not gonna be until later tonight. It's currently 8.30 in the morning, and we're gonna be going to LA for the entire day. Why? Because we can. It really seems like that's like all that I do is like go and vacation and travel and all this nice stuff, but I haven't done anything like this in my entire life. Traveling to Montana recently, and not going to LA for a concert, being there for the whole day should be really cool, but it's not usually what I do. <laughs> I would say that John Bellion is one of, I would say, three artists that I really try to base my music off of. I just try to fix my glasses, even though I'm not wearing any glasses. So the only thing that I really want to try to avoid is me getting to the concert and then just analyzing every little thing about the music. Not in a bad way, but more of like a trying to break it down, which is what my brain always does with music now. So I would really like to avoid that and just try and have a good time. I'll probably get some drinks to help with that a little bit. All right, here we go. Okay, so we were at the Museum of Death. I hope I did that right, because it's my first time ever trying to do this transition before, so I hope that that worked okay. But we are at the Museum of Death. I don't even know if you can, if I, you can see it, but we can't really record in there, so we'll you guys out here, but we're in LA. <laughs> what are you doing? Stupid. I wanted to just be as weird as possible. Okay. You're getting a good shot. <laughs> Are you gonna do it? I'm really debating right now. It's gonna go. Nope. Okay. No, okay. <laughs> okay. I probably look like a tourist right now. What you thought? Even though I was born and raised here. Man, look at all that pollution. Good job, LA. You see that city all the way out there? Yeah, they got a new uh, piece on me at the Griffith Observatory. It's nothing though. They also got everything anatomically correct. <laughs> It's fun yeah, you guys talk for like eight hours straight. <laughs> it's fun. That's how Jacob and I were. I'd go over to his house to be like, yeah, dude, I'm gonna stop by for like a quick bowl. Like, like, we'd like Cereal. chill. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, of course. We're in California, so that's legal. <laughs> it's Conversations legal. are fun. We'd like, I'd stop by, we'd Frosted start talking, plates. and then all of a sudden, it's freaking three I don't hours smoke, though. later. And I it's mean, that's like, like when you guys come to my house. Yeah, that's exactly, it yeah. feels the exact same. That's because we fight I so well, it. you know? Yeah, it's great. Is it? Oh, I like it. Sorry. Man, what a great concert. That was absolutely one of the best concerts I've ever been to. One thing that I realized from being at that show was, yeah, I'm a producer, right? And I love being a producer. I just want to be able to give that energy to, to people, to a crowd, and just have people feel something in music, you know, and not just listen to it and forget about it or anything like that. And, and it makes me want to be more of an artist, you know? Like, will I ever sing one day? Will I ever rap someday? Maybe, I don't know. Time will tell. It's not really something I've really been practicing, so I, so I don't think I'd be any good at it right now, but in the future, yeah, maybe. But that was just absolutely insane. 
Fun fact too, that was actually my first concert that I ever went to where I was completely drunk and that was super fun. I don't know why, but that made me enjoy it even more, but I honestly, it was so much fun. That was probably the most fun I've ever had at a concert. And, you know, I've seen Blink-182 with a data member headlining before it, before, before them, which is my favorite band. I actually have their a data member's uh, lyrics tattooed on my arm. So to put this above, that would be a little bit tough, but it's, it's up there, man. That's really incredible and I mean, it just completely got my, my whole like, mindset a little bit different, you know? Like, what is what do you guys really want to, like, strive to be? You know, like, do you guys really, if, if you're a producer out there, do you want to make lyrics? If you're an, a rapper out there, do you want to start making your own beats, you know? And being more independent and having to, to worry about finding somebody to do everything for you. And, you know, as a producer and somebody who works on music and is hustling and grinding every single day, it's really been nice to go on vacation these past this last week in Montana and then for LA yesterday was just absolutely incredible. Uh, it's always good to take a break. And what I mean by a break is is not doing nothing on the day you have a break off. You know, I, I, went, I go to the gym, I, I will hang out with friends, I will practice Rocket League, I don't know, I'm still playing that sometimes. <laughs> My whole point though is that if you're just at your computer all day, right? How can you really expect to get the full value out of what music can offer? Because music is gonna be something that people have been doing forever, you know? So how are you gonna try and find something doing the same thing over and over again? That's what I was doing for like six months, you know? It's only recently where I really tried to take a step back from making two or three tracks every single day and then uh, recording, you know, just all this stuff. The more that you expand, on other things, the more that you're going to enjoy the thing that you enjoy the most. And I know that sounds a little bit weird, but like in videography, I love doing that now. So when I take a break for a day to edit a video for the for a few hours, I'll come back later on that day or the next day and make a new beat and completely just have a whole new outlook and it will and it will not be the same as I made the day beforehand because it's a completely different day. Anyway, enough rambling. John Bellion, you put on one hell of a show, and I really do think you'll come see him again. Alright guys, that's gonna be just about it. Thank you very much for stopping by, I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.